Hi, it's Eden Azar, and this is my story. Ladies and gentlemen, many consider him the future Ballon d'Or winner. And even if you can't see that one happening, you can't deny his speed, technique and brilliance on the pitch. I am of course talking about Eden Hazard and today we'll be looking into his story and hearing his own version about the different steps he took in his life to become the player he is today. And yeah, while he might have ended up becoming one of the hardest footballers in the world, his passion for the game started a long time ago. Pretty much the very moment he took his first ever touches to the ball in the garden of his childhood home right here in Belgium. Yeah, maybe I was four years, five, in the garden with my, uh, my little brother, with my father. Uh, my father was a footballer and we played a lot together in the garden. But when I finished uh, school, uh, no homework, nothing, I just want to play football. I cannot say that for the kids because they have to do homework, of course, but <laughs> uh, yeah, in my head was to play football, 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 even in the, in the home, play every time, play, play. Monaco was my first club. Uh, I started five years old, uh, and I played till uh, maybe nine or nine or ten. After I moved to Tubiz, another club, better club. I learned everything there because we play, you know, uh, with one pitch, uh, synthetic pitch, uh, for the technique, for the yeah, for everything with the ball was good. Yeah, it was a very good club. Now, Hassad spent a couple of years playing with Tubis right here on the team's training center. And since his younger days at the club, the only thing that has changed here is that the different age groups are now practicing on much better artificial grass pitches. But everything else is more or less the same. The training sessions are still going strong every single day. And I think it's safe to say that all the kids and the entire organization are extremely proud of their local boy, Eden Hazard. Mon nom est Michael. Euh, mon lien avec Eden, je le connais depuis qu'il a 6 euh, ans. Et euh, j'ai commencé à entraîner dans Brenne le Comte où il jouait. Et puis je suis devenu, euh, on va dire, le grand frère euh, d'adoption. C'est un don, il a toujours été bon, il a toujours été surclassé. C'est naturel. En français, on dit c'est inné. Ça a toujours été comme ça. Bah déjà, quand il était à brenne le comte ou même quand il était à Tubis, on a toujours parlé d'Eden. Partout où il allait, c'était toujours « Oh, Eden, oh, Eden !» Les parents des autres équipes encourageaient Eden et pas leur enfant à eux. C'était tout le stade, c'était « Allez, Eden, marque des goals, marque des goals !» Pour tout le monde, pour tous les old supporters. You know, how did it make you feel at a young age when people are already like speculating and... I say nothing about that because I, I didn't hear that. Uh, you know, the people, they spoke with my father but not with me. I didn't know I was a good player. For Hassad himself, the next step in his career was joining a French club called Lille after being spotted by their scouts while playing in a local tournament with Tubis. His parents supported the move to France and so it was time for the promising young talent to leave Tubis and his home in Belgium. Obviously moving to Lille was a big decision, but at the same time it definitely gave Eden Hazard a better chance to grow, not only as a player but also as a person. In Tubis I learned the football, I think in Lille I learned the life. I moved away from my home, I changed the country, you know, 14 years old, it's not easy to, to leave the house, but uh, yeah, I start to sleep alone, you know, to wake up alone, to everything alone. I make a lot of friends there, I learn to respect everybody. I start to play with good player, uh, good trainer, everything was good. Bonjour, je m'appelle Rio Mavouba, je suis capitaine de Lille depuis 7 ans et euh, j'ai rencontré Eden euh, forcément euh, quand il a commencé euh, en professionnel ici. Euh. Ben, quand il est arrivé, euh, c'était un, un garçon timide, discret, et, euh, mais bon, il avait beaucoup de, beaucoup de talent, facilité pour, pour dribbler euh, les joueurs. Après, il a, il, on va dire qu'il était déjà très mature, 
très mature, très intelligent pour son âge. Et, euh, et voilà, c'est ce qui a fait sa force. Now, looking back at Hassad's time here in Lille is pretty mind-blowing. I mean, what if I told you that over the course of seven years that he spent here at Lille, he first started in the club's youth program, made his way from the under-18s to the reserves before finally breaking in to the first team of Lille, where he would eventually play around 150 official games, win the French League, be chosen as the League One Young Player of the Year twice in a row, followed by two consecutive League One Player of the Year awards, and achieving all of this and much more before even turning 22 years old. I'm just saying, the stats don't lie. Hazard definitely killed it here at Lille. Je m'appelle Jean-Michel Van Damme. Actuellement, je, je suis directeur général adjoint en charge du, du sportif. Quand Eden Hazard était au club, euh, je fais partie du, du staff qui a recruté Eden quand il avait 14 ans. Et euh, ensuite, euh, j'étais directeur de l'académie pendant plus de 10 ans. Et donc, j'ai vu évoluer Eden pendant euh, toutes ces années. Le souvenir euh, fort que j'ai d'Eden, c'est quand à 14 ans, la première fois que je l'ai dans mon bureau pour euh, imaginer ce que va devenir sa carrière. Il me dit à 14 ans pratiquement tout ce qu'il a fait par la suite. Il m'a dit, je vais jouer au LOSC. Je vais donner du bonheur pour les spectateurs. Je vais gagner un titre. Ensuite, je vais partir. Donc je me suis dit, c'est fantastique, parce qu'il avait déjà tout dans la tête. Je pense qu'il a une force mentale exceptionnelle. C'est juste énorme. Je pense que j'ai devenu un bon joueur quand j'étais à Lille. Pas avant. Je pense que j'ai peut-être eu beaucoup de tricks, mais... I start to play when I was in Lille. Now, after four great seasons in League One with Lille, it was once again time to move on towards some new challenges. And for Hazard, his next destination would be the English Premier League and Chelsea FC. Hazard confirmed the transfer news on Twitter, and in the summer of 2012, he packed his bags and moved to London. So oh, right now you're playing for Chelsea FC and you're living in London. How do you like it here? I'm like a baby here. Uh, yeah, I can do my my dream to play football in the big club, one of the best city, big stadium every week. You know, it's uh, in England every every week is the big game. This is what I want to do. All right, Hazard adapted well into the Premier League and was quickly becoming one of the home fans' favorite players here at the Stamford Bridge. During his first season with Chelsea, he helped the team win the Europa League. And although the following season didn't bring any trophies to Chelsea, Hazard was still awarded with an individual award as the best young player in English football. In the 2014-15 season, Chelsea were back at it again and went on to win the Premier League and League Cup double. Hazard himself was on fire throughout the whole season. He dominated the league and earned both the Players' Player of the Year and Footballer of the Year awards. But despite all this crazy success, the man shows no signs of slowing down. And Hazard has a clear mission for the following years. To win more trophies. Uh, every season is the same. Last season I won a lot, but uh, this season I want more. And next season maybe I want more again. This is why I'm here now because every season I want to, to be better. Nowadays, being an international superstar like Eden Hazard means much more than just actually playing for your club every single week. The biggest stars of the planet are constantly under the spotlight. Everybody wants a piece of their time. But it's important to keep your eyes on the price. And if you guys out there are dreaming of making it to the very top, like it or not, you need to be able to make some sacrifices. Do you feel that you've had to make any sacrifices to become a footballer? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, you cannot spend a lot of time with your friends uh, outside the pitch. You cannot go and party, you know. You cannot spend a lot of time for, the, for shopping. 
but uh, my job is to score a goal, but also to, to speak with guys, to, to make interview, to make picture. This is the job I, I have to do. My career is not finished. Uh, now I just want to play football, to take pleasure on the pitch like I do, to win big trophies, to win Champions League, to win the World Cup, European Cup with Belgium. Why not? Why not? That is a brilliant question when it comes to the potential of Eden Hazard. This man wants to win everything and I personally can't find a single reason why he couldn't become one of the all-time greats of our beautiful game. The story of Hazard will continue and we here at Unisport look forward to seeing the things he will achieve in the future. Anyways, hopefully you guys got something out of this episode and don't forget to leave a comment with a suggestion for our next player story. And oh yeah, in case you guys want to win a pair of boots signed by Eden Hazard, make sure you head over to our Instagram channel where we are indeed giving away this very pair to one of you guys. I'm just saying. Anyways, time for me to go now, but as always, I'll see you later on right here on Unisport Web TV.